But, you know, I remember I was 16 years old and I went on a church trip to New Orleans and we was down there for about two weeks. And the first week was just to have fun because we sold enough kolaches to pay for them. <laughs> and uh, I had a couple good buddies. You know, I went to a church school growing up and it was me and three other boys and I think most of us were there. And we said, you know what we ought to do? Mm -hmm. Is we were staying on Canal Street, which if you're familiar, it's, um, there we go. How about it? That was in the contract. But I said, I said, you know what we ought to do, boys, is we're here on Canal Street, Bourbon Street. I could spit on it. I could see, like, just bare titties from here. Let's go. And they said, no. And I said, let's go. And so we went. And I'll tell you right now, it's me and Kyle Moore and Dylan Wolf. If anybody knows them. <laughs> we went out. And they'll just give you cigars on the street. And I'm like, hell yeah. And they'll just give you a big old glass of something. And I'm like, hell yeah. Turns out I should have been living in New Orleans all this time. So we did it two nights in a row. We got ballsy, and uh, I'm not gonna say which of their mothers we ran into one night, but a couple of them, and they go, uh, and we're like, oh. And they said, y'all boys go back to the hotel, and we'll go back to the hotel, and then we'll just, probably nobody s spoke about it out loud since then until right now we just had to let it go except the next night i'm like boys i'm going back he said don't do it i said i'm going and for the next four nights i snuck out of that hotel and i'd just go walking late late and i would just somebody's like you want a cigar i'd be like yeah and I just walked around New Orleans. And then uh, one night I ended up on this little street called Frenchman Street. And I found out that's where, that's where you really go in New Orleans. And so it was a great trip. You know, after that, you know, the next week was hell literally because I'm sitting in this big convention center watching them reenact, you know, Christ being hung on a cross going, oh, what did I do? <laughs> And I got scared straight and made it through high school. But then, years later, I was like, boys, I'm going back. <laughs> and I've been back a lot of times since then. And I'll tell you one of the things I love about New Orleans is they've got a saying down there, Cajun French, it's just say bon, which means it's good. And I'll tell you this from experience, it's not always good but it's always good you know what I mean and so I started collecting tattoos years ago and one of the first ones I got was I put Sabon right on my wrists on either one that way I could look down on the bad days and think it's pretty fucking good man and then years later once my wife and I got married she goes hey so I got this work conference and it's in New Orleans, and they said that you can come with. And I'm like, boys, I'm going back. <laughs> and she goes, well, we got a night off. What should we do? And I said, we should go to Frenchman Street. And we get this, uh, we get this call on Uber. And this gal goes, where y'all going? And we said, well, we got to get some food, and we got to get some drinks. She goes, oh, y'all know protocol? You got to go down to protocol. And I said, the portico? And she said, no, man. I said, you got to go down to Portico. And I said, what? And she goes, port of call, you honky. <laughs> and I said, all right, what's that? She goes, this is Tavern. She goes, they got the, they got the tsunami down there. Get, get one of those. And I said, okay. And so we went down there. We each got these tsunamis. Then we went over to Frenchman Street and we hit this club called the Spotted Cat where they got all this hot New Orleans jazz playing. Oh, 
hot band. Josh, you'd fit right in. I'm sure you've been a spotted cat. Yeah, he knows. And so we're just drinking and jazzing out and having a good time. And I'm like, God damn, New Orleans, man. This is what you want. We go walking down the street. And I see this guy smoking a cigarette. Sitting on a bench. And he gets up. He's got tattoos down both arms. And he's got slick back black hair. And he stands up and he sticks his pack of cigarettes in his back pocket. And his shirt was kind of... Up, and I saw a pearl hander snub nose revolver in the back of his belt. And he walked into this tattoo shop, and I said, Chris, I'm gonna get a tattoo <laughs> right now. You know, the Holy Spirit just laid it upon my heart. <laughs> and so we go in, and I said, Boys, I want a tattoo. And they said, Okay, what do you want? We can fit you in in an hour. And I said, you know what I want? Is I want to get her name tattooed on my chest. And she goes, no. And they go, well, we can fit you in about an hour. I said, okay, is there an ATM nearby? They go, yeah, at the bar across the street. So I said, okay, well, let's go grab a drink. I'll hit the ATM. We're sitting over there, and I remember she goes, you know, no, hmm, I wouldn't. Don't you? She goes, this is what she said. She says, oh my God, don't get my name tattooed. Oh my God. <laughs> but you know, a couple Tito's and soda. And I hit the end, ATM, and I said, babe, I'm going back. <laughs> and I got it. And I've always loved New Orleans. And all the times I've been back, every city I go to, I compare it there. Because I've been back on motorcycle trips, I've been back playing shows, doing this or this or that. And you know what it is, it's, it's, a, it's a unique opportunity for adventure every time that I go there. And uh, it's like I was saying earlier, it's one of those memories that you just, it's tactile, you grab it, you stick it in your pocket, you hold on to it. And so for real, this is my last song. But it's one that I'm gonna play you that it just uh, came into my head because I thought, you know what? If I could go talk to that dumbass 16 year old and say, you think that a shitty cigar and a margarita on Bourbon Street is the coolest thing you're ever gonna get. Buddy, just hold on. And so this is a song about the city of New Orleans. You can check it out online. Years ago, I shot a video on my rooftop of the, uh, of the uh, laundromat with a couple buddies. Uh, if any of you know him, a man named Mike Samarad shot this video and it's still on there today. And dare I say it, a damn fine video. But it goes like this. Tasted like cocaine. She was cool like the summer rain. And I asked her, Why do you love me? And she said, I believe in grace. And I met her on the corner. Sing him on, save on, save on. And she was dancing in a second line, shining like the sun. Find back here by the morning. Say my love. I take a long walk down the cater 
Hear old Glenn play DBA And I tell my old friend Joe Lynn I'll come back again someday She watched me walk away And I can feel that Delta mud Thank you all very much.